yo. So for you Aries, you have the justice right off the rip, opposite zodiac sign, Libra. A lot of you Aries are very much so. Um, someone is definitely experiencing life without you and they are experiencing it harshly, right? Uh, one of your exes could be any one of them, but one of your exes is definitely experiencing how hard life can be. Why? Because of the Three of Cups. They felt like they could go on a spree forever, um, smashing as many people as they possibly could, not having any kind of loyalty to anybody. And now they're experiencing a lot of what it is that they gave to you. They're experiencing it back when someone is giving them that. So now they look pretty stupid because they knew that you, Aries, was the correct one and they should have stuck to you like glue. But they had a hard time doing that because they 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 had they want to party, they wanted to get money from you, they wanted to do whatever it is that they wanted to do. Now the Six of Pentacles. Now you, Aries, are in a position to give, but instead of giving to this ingrate, this person who is ungrateful this person who took your money begged you begged you like a like a like a dog and then you gave them or, or made up some sort of sob story and then you gave these people your money right and they didn't respect it they're they're experiencing the dysfunction of their own actions now because now they they tried to do that same sob story to somebody else and it didn't work because now the three of wands and the two of swords represents and they have to live with that so here they are right thinking about you thinking about how you aries you know you 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 know you gave them some money for them to solve some of their problems because they were coming to you crying whining like a dog like a wet dog uh, uh. You gave it to them. They did, they decided to disrespect you. So you Aries is like, okay, cool. Here they are. This person that you dealt with that took this money from you and did not be thankful, or grateful, did not turn their life around. They will forever remember you, Aries. And they will always remember how much of an idiot they were. So then you have the Three of Pentacles. And so now the Three of Pentacles represents because for you, you Aries are very much so solid. And what I mean by that is the Two of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. A lot of you Aries are very much so getting to know other people. So it's not like you're missing anything from not being with this person, right? You Aries are very much so still getting to know other people. You, nothing has changed. All that's changed is you now know that those people that you tried to go out with that ended up wasting your time you now know that they are a waste of time and you know why. So the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles represents, right, you Aries are very much so looking out for yourselves as you should be, you know? You Aries didn't have a lot of people that had your back in the past. So now a lot of you Aries are in position to actually start getting what you want. Why wouldn't you want to get that, right? Right. So you're dating, you're feeling people out, you're trying to get a chance to see if someone is interested in you and if you're interested in somebody else. And like I said, your exes can't take the fact that you're dating. They very much so they're very much so feel it now. So let's clarify the four of pentacles. Four of Swords, Ace of Cups, the Hanged Man, and then you have the Three of Pentacles, right? So the Four of Swords is about how they're, you know, <laughs> they're praying for you to come back. <laughs> but again, this is where their arrogance got them. Because the Ace of Swords and the Hanged Man represents you, Aries, not really ever planning on going back. Right, the Four of Cups represents, the four, as a matter of fact, the Four of Cups represents having too much fun living your life. Again, you're not going back. I don't see any cards that show that you Aries would and should go back. 
you know, any kind of scenario where, the, where you could go back. I see a lot of you Aries are very much so enjoying, you know, your, 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 your bachelorhood pretty much. And what I mean, and what I mean by that is dating and trying to see which one fits best for you. Um, I'll say don't date too, too much and, and, and kind of play the field a little bit too much. Don't, I wouldn't suggest you do that because the worst thing in the world is to date many of people and you can't find anybody. You know what I mean? You can't get yourself into a relationship at least with any of them. You know, that's that'll be something that could be something that could end up proving to be problematic in the future when somebody that you're trying to get to know asks you that question. So just keep that in mind, right? You can you can date, but make sure that when you're dating, don't just date all of them for fun, you know? Um, there's a there's a time and a place to date people for fun. But the Three of Pentacles is about how, um, but while you're doing it though, have as much fun as you possibly can. Just not too much fun. Be able to, you know, always be able to to very much so reel yourself back in. You don't wanna you don't wanna end up having a little bit too much fun, you know. So let's clarify the justice now. Let's clarify the justice. So to clarify the justice, we have the two of pentacles, the, eight, the six of cups. See, I told you the chariot. And then you have the six of wands. Right. You already know what we're going to say. So the two of so the two of pentacles represents this person uh, thinking about you for a while before they came back. Right. Interested in you thinking about you a lot before they decide that they decided to come back. Six of Cups, you hearing from them again. You are you Aries are hearing from these people yet again. They're trying to come back in again. All of the I'm telling you, Aries, what it is. All of the dysfunction that they tried to play you with. Those same people that wanted to get some money from you and they was putting on this act. Like they were gonna change and they, you know what I mean? When you, when they had your trust in their hands, they made up a story, acted like they really needed you. You Aries gave them some money. A lot of you Aries may have given them some money or you may have given them some help. And you said, all right, fine, here you go, here's the help. And what did they do with it? They completely disrespected you Aries. They didn't take you Aries as valuable as they should have taken you. And they didn't take this as an opportunity to turn around. So here they are again, trying to come back in, looking stupid again. Because I told you, they're never really going to ever let you go. Because they will always remember that memory of you Aries giving them some money or looking out for them in a way that a lot of people wouldn't. And they completely... They completely crossed your trust. So now the chariot and the six of wands now represent. So now they know that you look at them funny style and they don't have any other. They don't have anyone else to blame other than the, other than them. But that's pretty much it. Comment on the video. Like the video. So, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share the video. Come through and get some more readings from me so I can most definitely uh, keep the show going. Would really appreciate it if you did. Um, if you want to check out my website, in which you can get private tarot readings, bird chart readings, buy books from me, uh, follow me on Instagram, um, then you can check that out uh, at the link tree. The link to that will be in the comment section below. Really appreciate it. Uh, comment, uh, smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.